immediately get a call back. And he said, I just got an email that my session's canceled. No way. Yeah. I don't get goosebumps and I got them. What makes you different? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. What do you want? <laughs> Earthmark. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. <laughs> Howdy, y'all. Welcome to Seeker Story Time. We're your hosts, Madsen, Case, and Elliot. And we're the co founders of Seeker Company. Okay, so can we talk about? I know that you probably talk about this with everyone. I'm just curious yeah. about your experience on the voice. Yeah. Oh. It wasn't the voice. But, oh, sorry. <laughs> same, sorry. The same use, he meant using same your thing. voice. I using was, your voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait. And Wait, that was all AGT. 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 We haven't we, seen sorry, you since, I don't think. Really? I don't think so. A long so. time ago. Maybe. But I was yeah. going to say, like, at the roundup, and then that was the last time I could oh, think of. Yeah. When I got slammered. Sorry. Slammered. No, that's epic. Wait, where? Did at the roundup, round 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 I can't remember. I didn't even know. <laughs> Wait, but you were freaking awesome on stage. Yeah, that was epic. That was so yeah. sick. No, yeah, that I love your stage. Presence. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, uh, you got like a little bit drunk before you went on. Is that what you're saying? That's what I would do. Yeah, I mean, yeah. when in Rome. Yeah. <laughs> do as. I don't that's drink awesome. very often at yeah. all. I've actually had a couple interesting experiences with alcohol in the last like Good? year. No. Oh no. But um. Okay, I'll tell you that story now that I've opened yeah. that bag. Yeah. I played a show in Venice Okay. back in, I think, uh, August. And I had, like, maybe a shot of whiskey before I went on stage. Didn't feel anything. Maybe a shot and a half. Yeah. I was like, oh, I kind of wanted to be buzzed. It was at a bar, yeah. you know. Mellow everyone was loose. really drunk in the audience, and I just wanted to be able to match their energy a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I didn't feel anything. I go on stage, and some guy in the audience hands me uh. a shot. Okay. So hey, a shot glass? Too. A shot glass. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. And I take the shot and completely black out. Oh, oh no. fuck. Wait, Do you think it was roofied? Yeah. Was I have no idea. Sketch. I was either allergic sketch. to it, it was roofied or something, yeah. oh. but I completely blacked out. I don't remember the show. Did you perform it? Like. Oh, you... yeah. I performed it. I only had an hour set, which I don't even have that much music. Yeah. I don't know how <laughs> I played an hour. I played for an hour and a half. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. I talked for like eight to ten minutes between each song, <laughs> telling stories I God knows what. Somebody threw their passport on stage and Whoa, I like what? kissed it. Whoa. You know the Michael, uh, no, not Michael, uh, Jason Derulo song? Yeah. I got no. lipstick stains on my passport. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, I so I like that. grabbed someone's lipstick <laughs> from the audience and, and kissed it, no apparently. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know. So, you know, I woke up the next, actually <clears throat> went right off stage into the bathroom, started throwing up. Yeah. People thought that I was stupping back there. Stupping? Mm. Stupping. Is that Yiddish? I don't know what it is. Stippin'? Stippin'? But I know what it is. Too yeah. stippin'? stippin'? People thought <laughs> I was, I'd be stippin' in the bathroom. Stippin'. I was not. Um, I was throwing up very badly. No and I was sick for days. Oh, man. Oh, man. Um, so, yeah. Sneakin'. I don't drink stippin'. really anymore. Holy except crap. I'm having a little yeah, bit of Yeah, a this. little beer here and there is not bad. Yeah. Never yeah. hurt no one. Actually, when do you think we <laughs> all first met? Was that in like 2018? That's a good well, question. When was that? Mm. That's a good Ooh. question. We met Forrest before then because he came to our warehouse. Well, yeah. when 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 was June Shine founded? Pop it's question. Twenty eight. Was it? 17, 2018? I have no idea. They launched in twenty eight. I want to say twenty eighteen. So we probably met in twenty eighteen. Yeah. Right. You guys were yeah. dating then. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Seven years. Seven wow. Years. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Congrats. Crazy. Yeah, that's a long time. Yeah. Crazy. Um, Damn. But yeah, I remember. I think we came to some event at your old, at the Almond. Mm. Oh, Alman? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I do Alman shop. That. Yeah. Good time. I met your wifey. Yeah, my wifey. I think that was when we all met, if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what year, what day. I think that was 2007. 2007? Mm -hmm. 2007. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah, seventh, seventh grade. grade. I don't know. <laughs> um, seventh but yeah, grade. Seventh grade. Um, so yeah, tell but, us though uh, about. Oh. I want to hear about A G T. A G T. Should we play it? I want to. Oh please, God no! How okay. many times have um, we seen it? Let's hear like a background story of like how you even got into that in the first place. Yeah, we know nothing. Um, we were surprised when we saw it. We're like, what the heck? Oh, I was too. Actually, precursor to this whole story, yeah. we were on a float trip with no service. Yeah. And when I we came this back vividly. to service, <laughs> we saw it, it posted. Yeah. And we're all like, holy shit! Yeah, we kept oh, seeing it everywhere. We're all was like, on what America's happens? Got Talent. Yeah. She got the. Yeah, like the golden, golden buzzer. buzzer. What's yeah. a float golden trip? Buzzer. Like a fly fishing trip. Oh, down river. Fun. Down a river. I so want to learn fun. how to do that. Yeah, so fun. Okay, but please. Tell okay. Me. Yeah. So, oh, 
God, where do I begin? I really wanted to share the message of that song. And I was needing to take the message from that song. Yeah. Um, and I was taking any stage I could get. And so to share that. Yeah. And so uh, I went and did it. I didn't tell anybody. I Forrest didn't even come with me. I went by myself. And um, wow. it ended up going well. I didn't even really know how the show was structured or anything. So when the golden buzzer happened, I was like, what does that mean? What does that really? Mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <You> <laughs> yeah have no I idea. didn't know. And there's like confetti falling. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'd like... seen it on YouTube and stuff. Yeah. Um, but I didn't know like the extent of what that meant. So I got a question yeah. there. Um, before you even got the golden buzzer, you show up and there's just a stadium full of people watching. Um, yeah. Well, it's not a stadium. Yeah, it's like it's kind of like a like a theater. theater. Yeah. Because uh-huh. it looks crazy to just like be judged in front of a yeah thousand it was so strange people. so you're in singing America. it's it's the voice all the chairs turn <laughs> <I'm just kidding>. <laughs> exactly <laughs> oh they're back no chairs chair turned turn no that's not the show <laughs> i was like brother, okay, but, but you know what when the voice came out it made me think about the shows a little differently because they're not looking at you and it's yeah. not like this full package thing yeah there's that is cool. you know just, just listening count. to the voice oh, yeah. so that is the i voice. thought that that was really cool no i didn't go on the voice Sorry, this keeps buzzing. I hope it's not. That's okay. Um, no, okay. <laughs> Sounds like I'm talking about America's Got Talent. <laughs> <laughs> you sing, you get the golden buzzer. Yeah. And then you don't really understand what happened? Or? Well, they bring me down to this like room and uh, interview me afterwards. And they're like, so, you know, this gets you closer to getting a residency in Vegas. And I was like, what? what? I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You're like, oh, my God. <laughs> I was like, what does that mean? Yeah. And they're like, oh, if you win the show, you get a residency in Vegas and you, you play there for a year. Oh, my I, God. They locked you I down in Vegas? Know. Like once a week for a year kind of thing? I'm not sure. And you yeah. didn't want to do that? Or you didn't? No, that's I mean, me just saying that. No, I, was just, I was just curious. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know if that. I mean, it's probably fun. It probably would be really yeah. fun. Um, that's wild. But I... I Sounds wild. I feel like I'd miss everyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. That would sound gnarly. I've never been to Vegas. Ever? No. Not I don't know if it's my vibe. I mean, if you don't drink, I don't think, I don't it think it's be. your vibe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That I feel like it's weird. Yeah. Sin City, man. Yeah. Even the airport's kind of gnarly. Yeah. Everything's weird about that place. Yeah. It's not, I don't think it's your vibe either. But, Great um, people, though. So we love you, Vegas. At the Vegas end of, audience. At the end of the show, mm-hmm. or at the end of, after that, you ca- carried on, right? Yeah. Yeah. So when you, get the golden buzzer you go straight to the semi-finals i think okay Damn. crazy and that's wild yeah so that's wild. wild semi-finals meaning there's only four people left no so actually they changed it this year um everyone ended up going to the semi-finals <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> everyone yeah How's i think they normally sense? have another um round of elimination uh, and then you'd go back but this year I don't know how it worked, but ah. maybe I don't know if it was to cut costs or what. But yeah. everyone mm-hmm. went to that stage after Interesting. they made it through that first round. Still dope. Um, yeah. yeah, it was cool. Um, but I, you know, the producers were like, oh, what song do you want to sing next? Do you want to do a cover? And I was really against doing a cover just because I felt like you know, it's, it's, ever, it's a talent show or whatever. And I'm, yeah. like, I'm kind of showing my songwriting skills as a talent. Yeah, um, And so I wanted to sing something I wrote, and I wanted it to be meaningful. And so I... It's that there's actually a crazy story behind this next song. Okay. Let's hear it. Should yeah. I tell it? Yes, please. And it's not that crazy. Yeah, let's hear it. Oh, God. Yeah, we're well, here. People's hopes <laughs> might be getting yeah. up. Yeah, expectations no. are high. Um, So I get a call from a friend of mine who I write a lot with. And I hadn't written in years since my mom passed. And she calls me out of the blue and was like, can I come see you? I just got in a breakup, yada, yada. So she came for a visit and she brought me a book about metamorphosis. Mm -hmm. And she, um, at the time, didn't know that I had a story about butterflies. And I was like, oh, wow. And she like read me the book out loud, Hmm. like a little girl, you know, and I, I fell asleep. It was like a lullaby. It was really sweet. Um, and then Forrest was like, oh, she knows a story about the butterfly. And she's like, no, what's the story about the butterfly? And so when, I don't want to like make people sad or anything. That's right. That's a beautiful yeah. story. Okay. So when my mom was sick, I had to drop her off at the hospital to go get a blood transfusion. And this is the first time her and I had been apart 
in I feel like months at that point. Wow. And so it was during COVID. I couldn't go into the hospital with her. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I had to just leave her there. And blood transfusions take a few hours. So I went with my dad and we drove up country on Maui to this like piece of property that he was looking at. And it was covered in milkweed. And milkweed is a plant that hosts uh, the caterpillar and the butterfly. Mm. And I was like, oh, you know, my mom and I used to raise butterflies growing up. So I was like, I'm going to bring mom home some butterflies, you know. Mm -hmm. I bring home a bunch of milkweed. There's like little eggs on it and a couple little caterpillars. And we watch them grow for the next, you know, few weeks. And they turn into cocoons. And the cocoons never hatched. It was really strange. They turned this like black color. And huh. yeah, it was really strange. Yeah. The first round. And then there were eggs on the thing, like I said. So those ones ended up coming up. And um I didn't realize how sick my mom was. I knew she was sick, but I just thought that's like what cancer treatment was. Like you got really down and then, you know, the treatment's supposed to work, right? Yeah. Um, so she was like really ill at this point and um it was really beautiful to be able to like have something to look forward to in the morning. Like we looked at our little things grow and grow every day. Mm -hmm. And uh, she like was doing really bad. And, um, but she like slept through the night this one night. And I was like, oh my gosh, finally, she hadn't slept through the night in months. Mm -hmm. And so we um, like go back, go out on the porch. I wheel her thing out to get some fresh air. She's still sleeping. And I look over and the first butterfly had hatched. And I was like, holy shit, mom, like the first butterfly's here. And I like try and like, I like bring it up to her face and I'm trying to tell her about it, even though she was sleeping and like couldn't see it or anything. And, um, you know, I sit with it for a couple minutes maybe and it flies off. And um, I wheel her inside, you know, and I like called her nurse about something and I'm sitting with my friends and Matt and I had played her a song on guitar and we're just all hanging out and she took her last breath. Wow. Wow. And that was probably like 10 minutes or 15, 10 minutes. I don't care. I can't really remember. Yeah. Yeah. A really short time after that butterfly had hatched. Right. And so it was as if this butterfly hatched as she was like Crazy. passing away and so like wow. transitioning. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Which is crazy to That's think, you know, because the other ones didn't hatch. And it was like this right. perfect timing yeah. of a moment. And um, we, she ended up like, they took her away. And the next morning, the next butterfly hatched. And it was like she was there with us again. And mm-hmm. it stayed with my brother and I for hours. Wow. Just wow. like sitting on our face. I'll show you guys a video. Jeez. That's crazy. amazing. It's That's really amazing. beautiful. Yeah, it's crazy. So, um, this was my first session back. I'm not sorry. First song back. And I wanted to write a song called Butterfly. And Maggie had come over, my friend who is the girl I like to write with. And she brings me that book. And I tell her that story. And yeah. she's like, oh, my gosh, we have to write a song called Butterfly. And so she's like, my session's canceled tomorrow. Should we just go into the studio and write it? And I was like, yes, let's do it. And we call our other friend who we love to work with and we're like are you free tomorrow by any chance and he's like oh i have this session that i've already canceled twice that i can't like back out of um frick you know it was just a bummer yeah he hangs up immediately get a call back and he said i just got an email that my session's canceled no Uh, way yeah dang stars were aligning stars were aligning it was crazy so we go into the studio and write the song called Butterfly. And it was amazing for me because it was like, I hadn't been able to really write about stuff and I'd been working on putting music out and it just wasn't in my brain. Um, And it healed me so much to be able to write this song. It was Mm. crazy. I felt like I had like 50 bricks lifted off my shoulders after that moment. Mm -hmm. That's Walking out of the studio that day. It was crazy. Like you were stuck before that and that just lifted a bunch of weight off you? Yeah, stuck and sad and like I hadn't processed anything. Um, And that session I like got down and dirty and like I cried and like really processed it. It was amazing. Songwriting is just so fucking cool that way. Uh Uh-huh. Especially if you're close with the people you're writing with, I feel yeah. like it's like a group therapy session. It is. Yeah, it is. It, it yeah. is like a therapy session every single song you write. Um, it's amazing. So 
um, I presented that song to the show instead of doing a cover. I'm like, can I sing this song? And then they're like, yes, of course you can sing this song. But then I, they switched around the key a bit and we were all like kind of disagreeing on what key we should do. And we landed on like the middle ground and um, I go on stage to perform it for the first time ever. I'm like, what an idiot, who does that? Like this is the most emotional song I've ever written in my life and I'm gonna go sing it on live television yeah. in front of a bunch 37 of million people. Yeah. It's wild. God. That's crazy. I can't wow. imagine that feeling. Dumbo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what am I thinking? So I get on stage and they play this montage behind you mm -hmm. and you have in-ear monitors. And I was like, oh, I'll just plug my ears. I couldn't plug my ears. So I'm hearing the whole story about the song. Then I get oh, emotional. Oh, jeez. And I'm like starting to tear up. I'm like, fuck. Like, don't <laughs> cry like you're not allowed to cry. And I cried the entire song. Oh, I had geez. snot dripping from my nose. It was <laughs> disgusting. It was so gross. Yeah. Um, and I like couldn't even get the notes out. Dang. Crazy. <laughs> Wait. 37 million people. I'm like, oh, great. This is great. Oh, no. But you know what? Fuck it. Yeah. I woke up the next day and I was still alive. And I'm yeah. like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're good. Who and cares? you got the opportunity to do that. That's yeah, insane. absolutely. Yeah, exactly. And you know yeah. what? Getting vulnerable and... Losing your shit sometimes is okay. That's great. I mean, the yeah. world works, obviously, as your story said, in a very magical, strange way. Yeah. And maybe that was just part of it, you know? Yeah. You got to cry on stage, and that's probably, like, more than most people ever get to yeah. do, and it's just, like, a very cool thing. So. Yeah. yeah. And I'm uh, sure a lot of people that were watching it could connect with that story, right? I'm sure there's a yeah. portion of the audience that resonated. Oh, for sure. Resonated, yeah. I get know? the most beautiful messages from people. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So and so, you know what? Your story actually reminded <laughs> me the a story similar that I have, and I'm sure a bunch of people have, but I'll just tell it really quickly. My grandma mm -hmm. was like obsessed with uh, pelicans. Oh, um, really? She had pelicans all over her house. Like it was just kind of a thing. Um, and when she passed away, rest in peace, Sita, love you. Um, she we we spread her ashes out at sea, mm -hmm. and when we did that. Um, apparently, like this never happens. The captain was like, I don't know what the heck is going on, but and I'm, I'm a fisherman, like I've, I've been in a bunch of boats and I've never seen this happen, but when we spread her ashes, literally a flock of pelicans just like <gasps> sat around her ashes and like floated with it as as we like, and we're just all like, what the heck? Yeah, so, weird. So, so, cool. so that kind of stuff is like, I'm sure a lot of people have that kind of For story. sure, yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy how the world works in that way. It's, it's a beautiful so world. special. Yeah, it is a beautiful, beautiful world. world. Yeah. And yeah, I just feel lucky to have that type of experience um, because it really helps me. Yeah. 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 Totally. I'm like, oh, they're small. Yeah. You know, a little butterfly flying. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And ma maybe if you didn't cry during that song, you'd be playing in Vegas every <laughs> week. <I> mean, <laughs> that'd be insane. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> it's you all meant have to, to be. live in Vegas for a year. It's never too yeah. late. You we wouldn't be here it. right now. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Um, so, yeah, that was my uh, America's Got Talent story. It's wild. I mean, How's it I've been, been since? Wild. How's it feel? Like, has your life changed or? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's been so beautiful, honestly. Um, you know, it's it's hard to like bear yourself like that in front of the world. For um, sure, yeah. Because people pick it apart and say things like, oh, I don't even know, just really gnarly things on the internet. And I'm like, that is not what I meant at all. <laughs> but you know, the good things that have come from it have been so amazing. Like the stories of people who have connected with the song yeah, yeah. have just been literally like exactly what i do this for mm -hmm. you know so it's kind of cool like you have nothing to hide like you told your actual story yeah you don't have to make anything up it's true yeah. you just told your story and you're just out there for the yeah to, to see which is cool well and you know what's really funny um is the way that it aired uh they had simon ask me a different question hmm. so oh. he asked me live what's your story Oh yeah, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, like, what do I you would want take story? forever yeah. to yeah. tell. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. What'd you say? Um, Is that what you said? I kind of said that, yeah. and but I was like, "I can tell you the story behind this song," yeah. and that's the only reason that part of my story came out. Wow! You know, if you, I can't remember the question that they aired, it was like, 
what makes you different or something? I probably would have had a completely different question. Yeah, for sure. Answer for that. Yeah. That's a very um, ambiguous question, isn't it? That's what makes TV you for different. You. What makes you different? Yeah. I don't know. I like, have, uh, what do you like, want? Birthmark. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I have no belly button. Uh, <laughs> do you? Kyle. No. Uh, yeah, there was a show back in the day. Uh -oh. Yeah. I never watched it, but I've made that I joke like so many times in my life. You you saw it? Don't lie. No, I swear. What you was never it heard called? of that show? Kyle. Like he was an lie. alien, and the oh. only way people knew is because he didn't have a belly button. Yeah. Aliens don't have umbilical cords. That's that's how you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got that. Yeah, I have a mole on fact. my belly button. A mole? Yeah. On in it. my in it. In it. Yeah, well, because I have an innie. Oh, you have an innie. I have an innie. Yeah. I, I used oh, to have crazy. an Audi. You, you used happened? to have an Yeah, like growing up, I had just Audi deflated. Belly I just deflated into like a regular belly button. Deflate kept poking it back in. Yeah, yeah it's pretty weird. <laughs> the fatter you get, <laughs> it's <laughs> all the beer. Yeah. It's all the beer. I feel yeah. like that would be the opposite, honestly. Yeah, That's it true. Bigger. Pop it out. out. Like, oh, a sausage. like a sausage. <laughs> like a sausage. Like a little gnarly. Uh, <laughs> I wish the Audis were gnarly, but uh, you know that's crazy. why they named the car company Audi. That really? Is, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Get an Audi belly button. Big old fat German guy. <laughs> oh my God. I'm kidding. There's probably a little bit of truth to that, honestly. But, I don't think so. Right? Think so. <laughs> like, where did that? Nah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's true to me. Um, but what's uh, <laughs> what's next for you? That's what I'm curious about. Cause it's like, yeah. I feel like your career just, and I'm, I don't know. I'm just from the outside. We haven't seen each other in a long time, but mm -hmm. it seems like you're blowing up. Right. Oh no! Doesn't feel that way. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> no, no, no! Definitely not. I mean, that, I, it seems like that. I'm in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's happening next? I'm actually starting a podcast as Dope. well. No way. Dope. Yeah. What's it gonna be called? Um, I'm just kind of figuring it all out, okay. but yeah. it's gonna be called, I think, the Daydreamers or the Dreamers. Ooh, sick. And I'm gonna have people who have chased their dreams come on and kind of give their advice and tell their stories That's awesome. in hopes to yeah. inspire other people to do that yeah as well. love it yeah cool. How are you going to do that? Are you going to like, sh like, do you have a studio? Are you going to shoot at your house to That's start? That's what or? we're still figuring it TBD. out. TBD? Yeah. Because yeah. it's hard to find like a place to. <laughs> yeah, I know. You guys have the perfect setup here. Yeah. I got Sending a... pictures to my <laughs> team. <laughs> I got a buddy. Uh, his, his name's Uncle Jim. He has started a worm farm. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, he's first guest. Yeah. Do you have his <laughs> he info? Can you he's make the intro? His <laughs> he used to sell napkins, <laughs> and now he's uh, selling worms. No, but seriously, it's anything from like stuff like that mm. to, you know, uh, have you guys heard of um, Vera Wang? Yes. Yes. I don't, this yeah. is like I the have. perfect story for like <laughs> somebody's brain. That was not a fart. It was no, my no, freaking no. chair. <laughs> no, no. I just wanted to look it up because I don't know Vera Wang. Oh, I don't oh, really know her story very eye. well. But she started designing, I think, after she turned 40. Whoa. Okay. What was she doing before? I don't know. Just. I'm not sure, but she's a, a huge driving? designer. Designer, yeah. yeah. Do you have a connection? And she didn't with her, even start. This... No, but okay. I. Oh God, I'd love to have her on the yeah. show. But it's it's stories like that that I hope can like uh, turn something on in somebody's brain. It's never too late. <laughs> it's never too late. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Because there's people sitting at home like, oh, I wish I would have done that. I yeah. Wish I'd, you know. But it's literally never too late. Yeah, that's a good message. I feel like yeah. there's some musicians that start when they're like. Sturgill Simpson, yeah. I think, was like that. Right? And I think I that think is like so cool years. to have like a past history of life yeah. and then all of a sudden yeah. just start It probably helps. I feel oh, like. yeah. yeah. It's more so much to write about. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Here's Lou Grimes. Ford. Lou Grimes. No, he's an yeah. actor, right? Yeah. I mean, is yeah, yeah, that is. Yeah. yeah. He, he's like the Yellowstone guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He just dropped That's an true. album and he's like touring now. It's so amazing. It's crazy. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. It's valid. Valid. It was point. acting together. first. Acting first. Like and that's like that Mark dream. from Midland, same thing. Like he was, I don't know what he was yeah. doing before, but he started Midland. And now he's all cool. <laughs> <laughs> he is cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, who nope. else? Now he's cool. <laughs> Do you know Ray LaMontagne? Yes. That's a sweet I, name. Yes. Is he jazz? Oh, yeah. Calm music. Jazz? Relaxing. No. Is he jazz or no? No. I mean, maybe a little tinge of jazz. But it's kind relaxing. Like singer songwriter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it kind of like, it's not He's like good. Michael Buble. Oh, wow. With the no, top no. hat. Okay. He yeah, so he like didn't Thomas start until he was 40, I believe. 40? No way. Mm -hmm. He's got great music, though. Oh, Sierra yeah. Oh, you too? toured with him. You are the yeah. best. Wow. Yeah, nailed him. that. Nailed that. <laughs> is that him? Yeah, yeah that's, that's him. him. Did you tour with him? Yeah, yeah. You toured with ah. him? Is it? Oh, well, yeah, I got to open for him. That's awesome. That's insane. It was so fun. 
Wow. That's like a very famous song. I'm going to fall asleep to this. Is this right? Right? It's a great song. Yeah. yeah. Is it? Is this his song? This is him, but. Not the song. It's not the banger. Right, right. Come on, Ray. <laughs> Start singing here. This is that B side shit. I dig the harmonica. Had our share. So relaxing. Of the pain. Reminds me of like Iron and Wine. Yeah. Mm. A little bit, you know what I mean? Those it's, are the days. That's not Those who I was thinking days. of when I said jazz at all, but no. I know oh, look this guy at as well. Yeah. He's, he's always on there. there, right? Well, like he it? didn't start till he was forty. Crazy. More people Insane. need to know that story. Yeah, that's true. Look at that girl's leg kick. <laughs> oh, that, that is quite the kick. <laughs> yeah. Dang. So you toured with this guy, or opened yeah, on a yeah. few shows? Or <laughs> how does that work? Um, he went on a tour. Well, I went with him, but <laughs> he had a tour planned, and I went out and uh, opened. So I followed yeah. him in a little uh, sprinter van. And That's we went epic. from uh, Florida, down Florida, up, and we went to Georgia, and then all the way up. And we were supposed to go to Canada. Whoa. But um, That sounds fun. Yeah, it was really fun. Well, was, you were supposed to go, but then what happened? Oh, he got sick, and so we oh. canceled the last few shows. Fuck. But we still made it up to Rhode Island. And That's was, far up there. Yeah, it was sick. That is but awesome. also, like, zero sleep. We want to give a shout-out to a sponsor of today's episode, Desert Door Sotol. Desert or Solto, the most premium spirit distilled in Driftwood, Texas. Desert Door. Desert Door is wildly harvested, fermented, distilled, and bottled by Desert Door in Driftwood, Texas. Check them out at DesertDoor.com. The same Rocky Mountain water. The same brewing tradition that started in 1873 in Golden, Colorado. Because when you're a favorite beer of rock stars, smugglers, cowboys, and presidents, you don't compromise. That's our legacy. What do you want to go down in history for? Coors Banquet. Start your legacy. Since this is live, then in ten maybe. months. That probably means you're gonna <laughs> have your own tour soon, right? Or at least be oh, on tour. Oh and... gosh, I wish. I'm not really exactly sure how that all works. Yeah. Um, my, I'm working on planning a little mini headline thing. Yeah. Um, which is so terrifying. I'm like, who's gonna come to my shows? Well, like, would <laughs> you rather? People. Would you rather go like festival route or have your oh, own thing? Oh, that'd be thing? so fun. I mean, What's I'd rather go, go out and it. open for someone a little bit more and just kind of test the waters and create that. more fans like face to face rather than I don't know. It's hard for me to think that these songs that I wrote, you know, that nobody heard of or nobody's even heard up until like a year ago, that people are listening to them. That's I mean, crazy. We and then they'd want to come though. to a show. I'm like, what the fuck? We were in that's Mexico so and we heard your shit on our yeah. friend's what? radio. Yeah. yeah. You're on like, well, I was tripping. I was like, is no. it the biggest Lily's playlist? Voice? That's crazy. Yeah. It's yeah. Crazy. crazy. Yeah. I'm like, I have this fear that only two people are going to sh- show up to my headline thing. It. I'm like, oh, <laughs> we'll <God."> show up. <laughs> yeah, we'll show up. There's okay. three right there. <laughs> Eli, you down? Four. Perfect. We just tripled. Just tell us where it is. She's puffed. Exactly. She's sleeping. Chilling. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah. we're there. That. Yeah. Technically, we already had you on our show. <laughs> That's true. Fan, so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but we'll do it again. You're yeah. also being very humble because you've had shows, and I've I've been to like you open for Goth Babe. Yeah. And well, yeah, but everyone, Goth Babe has a huge audience already. Yeah, but you could tell everyone like knew your stuff and was vibing with it. Really? Yeah. Oh, I feel like you guys. Well, it. I always have fun, no matter what. Even yeah. if there's only two people, I'm still gonna have a good time. Yeah. yeah. But there's a fear that I'm, it just doesn't calculate in my brain that people like the streams are people. Yeah. yeah. I feel that. Those are things. Like, what what minute. are those things? Yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> I feel that. There's people out there who are listening. Yeah. <laughs> it could be anywhere in the world, actually. Yeah. We feel the same yeah. way about our podcast. You know. Yeah, like 400 where episodes. are you 500 million streams <laughs> per episode it's amazing yeah it's, <laughs> yeah, it's really blowing up <laughs> the cat just got super nervous all of a sudden he's like if you didn't tell me there's going to be that many people listening. i wonder if we can get this podcast on agt and just do like a live <laughs> <laughs> it'd be like <laughs> <laughs> oh my god back to back x's the x's thing is real it's just loud the, as hell. Whatever the frick the 
black. Yeah, uh, how degrading. Somebody got it right before I went oh, on. I was like, fuck. I think that I've made the wrong decision. I'm yeah. going to leave now. That's it's loud. Oh, it just God. it feels loud. Have you just, been there? No, no. Just Watched like when, when you're on TV, it feels uh, loud. Uh, yeah. Eli was a paid extra. Was it loud in, in person? I was the guy who got the X before. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I may have heard. <laughs> I think it is loud. Yeah. So. Yeah. Sorry, no, so I just I'm thinking about the whole like confetti thing and like yeah. <laughs> oh. You do like so confetti. You're, you're on Instead stage. You're on stage and you're singing, and then all of a sudden everything goes gold, but you're still singing. Right? Mm -hmm. no. it's, oh, it's over. No, see so if let me see. Matson, did you not watch the video? It's dude. been a year. Yeah. yeah. She hits the gold buzzer, dude. Yeah, but aren't you still singing at that point, or is no, it like, no. It's like no. interview no. process? They were Everyone's talking. Screaming. I th they were I was crying talking. at that point. Yeah, I think I was crying. I had goosebumps. <laughs> I, I teared up. Goosebumps. I teared up. I don't get goosebumps, and I got them. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I've watched that it's video a, a few times. I don't it's have like emotions. An insanely, like, exciting, inspiring video. Thank you. To like watch that, it's just it's Thank epic. You. Yeah, it went yeah. all viral and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I was all sick. over AGTV. <laughs> all over AGTV. Heidi, <laughs> Heidi Klum. Heidi Klum. Heidi Klum. So what I thought was happening, yeah. I thought she was getting up to give me a hug. Yeah. Did she end up hugging you? Yeah, I, yeah, I think so. She has become friends. Yeah, yeah, she's like my boy now. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, I th I'm pretty sure we're friends, but like, I don't have her phone number. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but Christmas so card. when she stood up, I thought she was coming to give me a hug, but then she pressed the thing, and I was like, "Wait, what the heck? What is that? Yeah. Was it like music? Like, whoa, 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 yeah." I don't remember. I blacked out. Yeah. I Someone gave her a shot. I <laughs> Some guy gave her a shot in the front row. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Same guy. <laughs> Same guy. <laughs> follow me around. That was just, just forest. So heavy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, That's man. Wild. I was on Let's Make a Deal once and I blacked really? out. Really? Yeah. Don't don't relate this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Wait, tell me about that. I won $2,000. Is it on TV? I won <laughs> Did we pull I won a up? mini fridge. Yeah. No, we I don't up. think we could pull it up. You don't think? I just went to the show. I mean, very quick sh story. I'm not going to show yeah. this whole story, but went to the show. <laughs> it's I got still powerful. Picked. I got pulled up, <laughs> and I basically got the choice. I, yeah, let's make a deal with Wayne Brady. I basically got the choice. He's like, I'll give you $5 for every page in this book, or you could take what's behind door number one. <laughs> Big lesson. And I was learned. like, I'll take the book. That was an He's insanely like, powerful moment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got goosebumps. Cry? I don't even get goosebumps. <laughs> <That was bizarre. laughs> and I and I won like two thousand bucks because nice. I got five. Yeah, and I was like nineteen probably. Did you ever yeah. learn what was behind the door? It was a zonk. It was nothing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, so you won. Yeah, won I'm smart enough. Oh my gosh! Yeah. You're like, oh, I didn't yeah. do well. On the and he show. he stopped Nailed me it. and he's like, "Are you sure this could be a car?" That's when you know. Number one. That's when like, you know it's right. I'm going with the yeah. yeah. You're like, Fuck you, Wayne Brady. And I went yeah. to the How And they were probably yeah. like, "Fuck." Yeah. yeah. Fuck. The producers in his ear, like, yeah. tell him to get the fuck. Pinch up. him. That's how the was started. Two thousand dollars. How how big is Wayne Brady in real life? Oh, I don't remember. Give me height and weight. No, he seems so. I actually did black out. You can see through all the confetti. I don't remember even saying what I was saying. Yeah. So I never understood confetti. It's weird. It's such a mess. I also had another question. Uh huh. Um, did you grow up surfing, or is your brother just like a freak surfer? Right. I grew up surfing. Yeah. Very small waves on super big boards. That's the move. Um. That's the move. I'm horrible at it. I'm so, so bad. I'm stopped. and I'm also terrified. The ocean is a scary place. It's gnarly, yeah. It's, it's beautiful, but gnarly. Place. Yeah. It's no Moana, that's for sure. Yeah. Is it weird? Like, yeah, watching I'm talking your about just yeah. there, like, like, 30 <laughs> foot there. <laughs> the Disney movie? They're like hugging, she's like hugging the water and oh. shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, uh, it's like a Avatar beautiful too? place. I respect it. I love it, but I'm also deeply terrified of it. So yeah. I didn't progress very well. Um, but also, uh, it's still one of my favorite things to do. Just has to be extremely yeah. perfect yeah. conditions for my <laughs> like Santa. anxiety. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you yeah. and Forrest are both from Hawaii or grew up there, right? Mm -hmm. Are you guys planning on ever going back and like I living mean, full time? I would love to do that. I mean, growing up there was the most amazing thing in the entire world, and to be able to give that to my children would be, yeah. I don't know. The goal. The only way to do it, I think. Yeah. Damn. So, so, yes. so yeah, I really hope I make it back there. Wow. But right now you're chasing the dream of like, is that? In yeah, I mean, well, I'm technically still there too. Oh, you I'm, are. I'm all over the place. Okay. So you have like, residents. Yeah. In both. Yeah. Or all over the place. I'm all like, over. here. I'm there. Yeah. I'm nowhere. Right. But, I've been in California for two weeks. 
Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's fine. I, I thought you had like. Do you record all your stuff? Thing down here. Like, uh, no, I do. I do have a. We have a spot in Encinitas. And yeah. It's so great. I love it. If I could spend all, all the time there. Well, I mean, it's hard to be away from home, but yeah. you know, all of my time away from home there would be great. That's a great spot. Um, yeah, I love great it. Spot. But you know, I go home as much as I can. Um, I've. <laughs> I was just in Nashville, a few weeks ago. Oh, don't worry, it's been over a month. Is that where you record and stuff? Uh, yeah. Okay. So I love writing there. It's just got such a good energy. Yeah. Um, and it was my first like real writing trip back for like my new stuff. And uh, I'm three days in and I get COVID. Mm. Damn. So I'm stuck mm. in a room so excited to go to the studio. Just like, fuck. So it just got rescheduled to next week. Hell yeah. Yeah. Damn. First time that, getting COVID. This too. is like weeks ago. You There's heard? a reason for it. Yeah, well, it's like over a month ago now. <laughs> oh, I'm, not good. For it. I'm, not, I'm not good at time. I'm not yeah. good at math. This was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I still have COVID. <laughs> Quarantining. No. Um, so yeah. Are you gonna write a country album? <sighs> oh, I'm not question. gonna lie. That does sound really fun. Oh, hell yeah. I, I like want to tell you about my next country song. I'm gonna write though. Okay. You guys can tell me what you. Think. Yeah. Um. If you want to help me write it, because you mm. guys seem like you like country Yeah, things. talk about worms. Yeah. What, well, so, what would you call your style of music? Whoa, whoa, uh, whoa, whoa. She was getting into her next No, just song. Before, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I guess like singer, songwriter, pop. Okay, yeah. A yeah. little yeah. bit of pop. <laughs> but, you know, I have, I definitely grew up in the country world, so there's yeah. like maybe a little bit of that. Undertones. Um, yeah. I mean, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Who knows what this next trip to nashville is gonna bring but, yeah, but i'm definitely writing one country song hell yeah might not be for me but it's gonna happen yeah um and it's gonna be called sleeping with my boots on yeah, Ooh, <laughs> <hell> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the premise is you get in a fight with your boyfriend it can go either way yeah, yeah, yeah. you get in a fight with your boyfriend and you kick him out but he takes your boots off Oh fuck! So you uh, can't take them off, and you don't have a boot jack. So it's like we cuss, we Yeah, that's the <laughs> fight. I'm sleeping with my boots on. Damn. Oh, how does it end? Right then, release it. Right? Yeah. I know. I mean, you guys have ladies. They we have ladies. make you take your boot their every boots off? single oh, yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. I've tried buying her a boot jack and she's like, no, no, you do it. Yeah, it's a vibe. Like, I yeah. Get it. Uh, exactly. I get it. exactly. That sounds like it a great song. Every yeah. time. So, that's clever. Sleep in my boots on. But it could go from the guy's perspective yeah, too. Yeah, totally. be like, you know, she kicked me out of the house. She kicked me out of the house. Guess she's sleeping with her boots on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> so, yeah, that is fun. I'll send it to you guys when it's done. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Are you working on that right now? Yeah, right as we speak. Yeah, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah I'm like trying to pull thing. inspiration. Write it down, write it down. Um, yeah, no, I'm just going to bring the idea into the studio. Damn. Speaking of boots and happens. girlfriends, yeah. um, Helene just showed me a photo of those boots yesterday. Really? And she's getting them. So it's yeah, uh -oh. Ranch Road. Are you going to Stagecoach? Yeah, you're going to uh -oh. <laughs> I'm not. I went. Uh -oh. Are you guys going to be there? Yeah, yeah. Sick. Yeah. Oh, yeah, last year was so fun. That was so I, yeah. fun. I remember being extremely high in a van with you and, and being like, wow. and not. I'm being like, oh my gosh, you must think I'm so weird. Oh, <laughs> yeah, a van. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, about. what van? I must have been high too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, it was a that like van. airstream, airstream like, thing. Setup? And we were like hanging out, uh, just us four, and I was like, what do we talk about? I'm so high right now. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. I love Went that right, <laughs> right over my head. Yeah. <laughs> um, That's good, man. That means you'd get high. I guess. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Oh my, listen. <laughs> I saw the face. I saw the face. He was purring. Oh, that's Amar right there. Hey, uh, <laughs> What's his name again? Right now it's Bowie. Bowie. Sounds like boozy. Bowie. I call every cat a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Such a yeah, it's just, such a it's not a very manly boy. thing to be. No, I feel like a cat, like a like a big mm. cat. This is messed up, guys. Yeah, this no, I sense. just think is it? Yeah, you know the movie. Yeah, I love cats. Females no. are sexy. Can be masculine. They can be feminine. Sexy, you know? yeah. So you think males are sexy? Strong. Strong. So you think a man is sexy? I think. Uh, <laughs> um, what was that sh movie? Cats and Dogs. I think it was called. Where the they show fought each other. And they had like. Is it half cat, half dog? Yeah. In the cat front. dog. Cat dog. Cat. No, no, no. Cat dog's a no, show. It was a show. movie. I think it was cats versus dogs or something. But they had mm -hmm. like. 
like laboratory. It was almost like oh, Batman yeah. caves, and they fought each other. Cats versus dogs. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Holy shit, that movie was <laughs> all. That was, was a good movie. Oh, yeah, that. I'm gonna watch that tonight. I'm gonna watch was, that shit tonight. That was the evil one. Yeah, and the uh, the cats. There were the cats were evil. Yeah, the yeah. cats were evil. It's a dog lover who made that movie for sure. <laughs> really? But we owned that. Actually, we owned that shit on a. You own them when you oh. open it, and there was a bit. DVD. What is that shit? Is it DVD. VHS? Blu-ray, DVD, VHS. No VHS. DVD. Yeah. The oh, tape? Yeah. Who yeah, yeah, you yeah, really the yeah, the tape. The tape. Wow. Yeah, that one, I fucking love that. I watched that so many times. <laughs> the fireworks begin. God, it's so good. <laughs> Who will you root for? That was a good year. 2001. That was a good movie. That's a good yeah. call. God out. damn, I love that out. movie. But I always thought, since that age, I always thought cats were all <laughs> Wait, female. Yeah, there's a there's a sequel. It says Cats and Dogs, The Revenge of Kitty Galore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down, dude. I'm, I'm so <laughs> I don't think that one made the the cut. Look at the rat on his head. Damn. Just like real spies, only furry. It's kind of like Disneyland where it's just a different experience when you're old, you know? It's all fun and games when you're a kid and you're old. (laughs) I think it did make it better when you're high. Looks like it. Yeah, wow. Wow. Oh my god! Didn't make my cut. <laughs> I'm gonna watch. Yeah, I know. I love movies Nostalgia. like that. <laughs> I miss the old days. They just don't make them like that anymore, you know. Um, it okay, is back. a weird thing growing up and being like, "Wow, that really made me excited." Yeah, yeah. you know, totally. And then watching it back. This is a like, high ass idea. Why was it? Yeah. And, and you're always thinking like, <laughs> "Why don't parents want to paint their walls pink?" Yeah, yeah. you know, like. <laughs> Boring. Yeah, yeah, right. Like they have. So funny. And then you grow up and you're like, white walls. I get it. White, <laughs> white everything. Yeah. Children have such like big imaginations, and that's yeah, awesome. I love it. You gotta stay that way. Yeah, keep yeah. it. Keep that. You gotta stay young. Buzz. You know? I've actually been trying this thing recently called dopamine dressing. Dressing. Have you guys heard mm, of it? No. It's um, where you wear clothing and colors that boost your mood. Oh, mm, what? whoa! I got. Yeah. So, so is it? Uh, is that the red? Have you heard? No, hit it. Now, I got like these sun- those sunglasses I got, those Tejestas yeah. or whatever. Oh, is that what that does? They have like these like oh, these yeah. crazy colored lenses, like, and the guy has this whole description on like different color lenses. Uh, it's, it's like, like all weed. these different things, and you can like, pick like, oh, like this is an optimistic look on life or whatever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. and they come with like a myth. scented thing with it too. Oh, yeah, fuck. I think so. I can't yeah, remember. I have the red pair. Oh shit! I feel oh, like it works. Like when I wear it, I feel like I'm in like a movie or yeah. something. I just it's feel like a main character. Whoa. Yeah. Main the main character. Uh, oh, now we know. <laughs> is there a deep. camera on you? <laughs> yeah. We need to get a Over clip here. of that face. We do. <laughs> we get a head-mounted GoPro on the next one. Yeah. Just like this. Those yeah, do. exactly. The main character. <laughs> Those okay. do feel uh, insane. Can you explain more about yeah, that? Thank, uh, you, so. thank you. Well, thank you. so, I mean, it can be anything. It doesn't have to be colors, mm-hmm. but for me, colors. It could be like texture or something. Yeah, it could be like the cut of a, f- like a uh, shirt. Look good, that feel makes good. You, Perform well. Yeah, exactly. 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 Yeah. Yeah. But exactly. also with the colors, like if you wear a yellow sweater or a yellow shirt, yeah. Banana. Uh, the chances of you having a shitty day are is low. Like very cut in half. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's true. Like how can you have a shitty day wearing true. a yellow shirt? What about red? I mean, red can be an angry color. Can it? But it's love and hate. It is it's love. Passion is oh. what it is. <laughs> wow. It's my favorite color. Wow. It's my favorite color. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn. Look at him. So was He's like, a, you don't wear red, though. Booster? Well, I mean, it's, uh, Look at I don't know. For me, <laughs> no. yeah. I mean, it's fun. Dopamine dressing. Still f- dopamine dressing. Dressing. Yeah. I thought you were like, going to say, like, there's, like, some kind of, like, MDMA you sprinkle on salad like or something. Like no. <laughs> I was thinking of the same thing. I, I thought it was, That's like, you know, bad and force is, like, pss, 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 pss. Yeah. <laughs> Put on your salad. <laughs> Here's your salad dressing, and you're good to yeah. go. Yeah. yeah. You guys wild. should try it. But I feel like you already have, like, the fit down, you know? Like, you already are wearing stuff that you feel yeah. really comfortable in. I get very in, excited. So you have a good Yeah. Day. Every day, I'm like, I wanna, what am I going to wear today? It's a yeah. fun little thing, you know? And that yeah. kind of excites me, so I yeah. feel like I, I do that. Yeah, and some people just, like, throw whatever dressing. they have on in their closet. I they know. don't think about it. My father-in-law is like that. He's like, whatever's on top. And I'm like, dude, I could fuck with you so hard. I could just put the stupidest thing. And I told him that, and he said, I would wear it. I'm like, wow, okay. You Whatever's on top. Different life, different April focuses. April you know? Day. So, right now, you're so right. So technically, he just goes through the year. exact same clothes in rotation? No, she'll she'll put whatever on top. Like, oh, Heidi will do it. Yeah, it's pretty funny. 361 days. They're listening to this I kind future, of understand so, that, though. Like, overall. <laughs> you don't have to pick out a top and a bottom. No, a you little bit of a top. I mean, yeah. A little bit. Jumpsuits, sorry. Yeah, it's all good. You just throw it on and go. <laughs> throw it on and go, and that yeah. makes it so easy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think it, there's a happy mixture of like not trying too hard and yeah. then also having a little fun with it. Be what you want to be. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Barbie. 
be what you see. See, <laughs> there's a song, with you dude. Barbie. B A R B I E. Yeah. Did that Barbie movie come out yet? Oh, God, with uh, what's her name? Margot. Oh, Margot Robbie. <laughs> It's like, no, it doesn't come out for right? a couple weeks. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh. <laughs> oh fuck. God, no, it hasn't been that. Margot Robbie. <laughs> Margot Robbie. Comes That's what I... April 21st. <laughs> I got the matinee show. I'm, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to the premiere. Midnight premiere. <laughs> um, Wait, does it come out soon? Or has it already? I have no <laughs> idea. I couldn't tell you. I, I guess I'll look it up. Look it up. The Mario one's coming out. Let me just go or to my did. history. You know the Mario one? I heard it got terrible. No. I did hear that too, but <laughs> really? it looked fun. 7.2 on IMDb is not bad. That's not bad. 2023. So I mean, it's Robbie. You can't do it wrong. July 21st. Oh, I cannot wait. You I said, cannot I said April 21st. She really cool. does look like a Barbie. She yeah, does. she mm-hmm. does. Perfect. She seems cool. Oh, my God. Oh, Ryan Gosling. Oh, in it. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. You could not pay me Wow. Enough. Oh, yeah, not. we could. Okay. Yeah, yeah we Throw could. Throw out a number. You love him, dude. Give me an offer. No, I... You love him. You were just telling. I don't know. You probably I don't know, I don't know him. So I don't know him. I don't that. know him. <laughs> That's so gnarly. Wow. I That's mean, insane. Elliot, you wore that kind of stuff in high school. She looks great. <laughs> he looks great. I mean, with them two in it, it's probably actually gonna be yeah. a good movie. He's looking at her a little weird. I don't know <laughs> yes, how I feel that about is kind of creepy. Like, creepy. Right there. He's, He's like, like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ken, but that's Ken's face normally. So. That's true. Ken isn't Ken supposed to be like a douchebag? Isn't that the whole thing? The Ken doll? I don't know. No, he's supposed to be a nice dude. Is he? I don't know. He looks like, like a douchebag. In Toy honest. Story, isn't he like a nice guy? There's gonna be a twist. No, I think he's way. like the evil I think guy? he's like a pretentious A twister? No, there'll be like a twist he's in like, the movie, oh. I'm sure. I'm sure it's not gonna be like so straightforward. All right. Well, what's it rated? That's the question. What is what's it R it or is it PG? If it's PG, it's there's no way it's an R movie. You right? don't think? Mario I mean, Robbie? Kind of fun if it was. Yeah, it would be yeah. way more fun. I yeah. always thought they but should like, do it. Just like me and they get naked and shit. little yeah. kids <laughs> with yeah. like, show a boob here and there. Like no, I'm sorry. They're like I, I want to oh, see that's the bar. true. You know what I mean? Yeah, that would no, suck be, for yeah. the kids. Yeah, or they do two versions. Two versions. All right, I guess we'll look this up. Um, so speaking of Ryan Gosling, yeah. Uh-oh. Recently, someone told Forrest that he looked like Ryan Gosling. Oh my God! Oh, and go. he hated it. Took that to heart. Like loved it. Yes. Let's go. Oh yes. And then we were go- I'm, <laughs> we I were googling that. Ryan Gosling, <laughs> <laughs> and we found a cover of a magazine that he was on. That was identical. And it said "Sexiest Man" <laughs> from like oh, 2007 yeah. or something, Let's and go, he's Forrest. like "Sexiest we love Man." <laughs> <laughs> so good. That's um, awesome. So yeah, I'm dating the sexiest man. <laughs> wow. From 2007. For seven years, yeah. too. Yeah. Honestly, he could get the cover wow. probably in what? Next year? You think? <laughs> Forbes. 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 Oh, well, he's already 30 <laughs> under 30, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, that's true. Forbes, Dude, right? Yeah, he just turned 30, though. So. Yeah. A legendary it's over. Man. Oh. It's, it's over. It's over. Yeah. It's all it's downhill. It's our from turn here. now Damn. as 29 year olds. It's going to be PG 13, though, by the way. The That's actually it not is? bad. That means huh. they can say like the F word a couple times. We can still have yeah. fun. Really? The you can B. Say the F word? Yeah. Fuck. PG 13? The B word. A 13 year old? Or Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah, Damn. no, I mean. Okay, I have That's a lot of Barbie talk. I have some more question for you. Okay. Um, is there anything that you want the world to know? Oh, shit. Yeah. What makes you different? <laughs> no, please don't. <no. laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, is there anything coming up? Anything you, like, want to say? Or, you know? Shit. See, this is the kind of question that I, know. I would Honestly, love to prepare. What makes you different is such a douchey question. I know. I know. Like, you want me to just talk Entertain to you about me. all my... <laughs> Entertain me. Yeah. Email yeah. me. Yeah. Email me. What <laughs> makes you different? Yeah. It's like, I'm what like, the I fuck? don't know. You want me I can... to impress you? I mean, what a weird job. They just judge. They just sit there on TV and have to say yes or no to people's lives. Yeah. But I am also. I want that job. <laughs> <laughs> I want that job. I'm also curious about Madsen's question. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah right, I don't know. Here. Honestly, that's a really great question. Off the top of my head, I'm not sure. I kind of am living in the moment. Fuck cool. Um Yeah. What do I want people to know? Nothing. Nothing. Do you have, do you have any Nothing. idea? I don't want you to know. Any new music will come out. I don't. Social Security. So what is? And I don't know if you're allowed to talk about this. You tell me, but like. What's the relationship with range? Like, do they like manage yeah. you, or how yeah. does it work? Yeah, I just um, they're my new management company. Wow. Yeah. So what does that mean? Like, what are they? What is? What's their job for you? Um, well, they help me set up things like this. Yeah. And make sure I'm on time to things, and help me with different opportunities, and Damn. yeah, like they're it, so wonderful. Would you want sponsors? Like, is that a goal? Um. Yeah. Just to get like brand sponsors like you know? NASCAR yeah. style yeah. yeah 
go up on stage with and they help with tattoos that. on your face. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was thinking like a NASCAR jacket full of sponsors. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be dope. I know it's interesting. The surf world's so different. Yeah, um, yeah. With their sponsorships and um, their deals, you know, oh, or whatever. Oh, for sure. That was adorable. Aww. Did you hear that? Yeah. That was sweet. He said, "Shut the fuck oh, yeah. up." Shut the fuck up. Sing yourself. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like the music world, it's kind of more under the, under the radar when you get sponsors. You're just yeah. kind of like like drinking scores and then like you're in photos with it or something. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. But like surfers, it's like on your board and you have to wear it everywhere. And mm-hmm. After every comp, mm-hmm. you chug a Red Bull or something or a Monster or but a rock star. Delicious. Fuck. Of course, rock- sponsor me. I only drink you. Oh, <laughs> nice. I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh! Don't tell June Shine. It's a different category. It's fun. It is. It it's is. Fun. No, I, I, I don't drink Coors, <laughs> <laughs> but I am right now. What? <laughs> um, my brother's uh, a big Coors boy. Is he? Yeah, he wrote a song about it. Wow. Did you really? Yeah. Coors it's Light all night. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Epic. He's kind of a country boy, huh? He is. Yeah. It's like as country as it gets. Yeah. That's, That's cool. awesome. We need to get him a horse, though. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Why not? But he's, he's been sponsored by Rockstar, is that right? Yeah. And, and who's his main sponsors? Um, Salty Crew. Okay, yeah. And Rockstar. Sick. And then, uh, who else? Sanook. Okay. Mm. Shoe Company. Yeah. Those are all pretty well. massive brands. Yeah, those are big brands. I mean, he's yeah. also one of the best surfers. Yeah, he's killing it. Makes sense. Yeah, he's amazing. Yeah. He's so good at surfing. Are you guys close? Yeah. Yeah. Super close. We're like best friends. Do you have other siblings? No, nope, just, just him and I. Nice. Yep. Is he full time in Hawaii? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, but it's so funny. It's he has a hard time leaving the island. I'm sure. It's like yeah. his whole life is there. He has his everything. Like yeah. He's like I would never have to leave. Yeah, fishing, surfing, hunting. Yeah. Yeah. It's there. That's it. Done. But he recently went to Bald Face. Is that what it's called? Bald Face. Bald. bald Where is it? Bald what did you call East me? Coast? No. Mount Baldy? Mount Baldy. Oh. No, 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 oh, no, no. Like, no, no. Like, oh my God. Wait, it sounds familiar. Mount Baldy is you might in LA, be right. right? You might be right. Yeah. I just have no, no idea. No, so you went to the bald one? <laughs> <laughs> bald. Do you know what state this is? Bald I think. Face. Bald Mountain? Canada? Bald Head oh. Island? No, Mount Baldy. Look at Mount. Search Bald Canada and bald just see face. what comes up. Look up Bald Face. Yeah, I think I've heard of Bald Face. Bald Face. Is it an island? No, it's a bald somewhere you go Canada. snowboarding. Oh, okay. And no. he... No, boarding. I can't tell you how stoked he was. Bald Face Lodge? Yep. Oh, British, British Columbia. Columbia. Okay, yeah. I okay. Said, wow. Yeah, I now we right. got there. I need to stop there. being so Yeah, timid. nice. <laughs> I knew it. You nailed it. Um. So he went there, and this is the first time I've Whoa. He uh, was like, seen him maybe. that excited in his life. This looks and insane. Then, so he came back from the trip Whoa. and stopped in California to say hi to me before yeah. I went back home. Nice. And he was watching videos of the snowboarding there Does over and over too? again. Just like, holy shit, that was the most amazing time of my life. Wow. Damn. Oh, my gosh. And now he wants to go snowboarding all the time. Wow. And so. He's hooked. Yeah. Now he's I could see him being anymore. pretty electric. Yeah. It was yeah. really cool to see him that stoked. That's cool. Apparently I could see him split the time. Insane. It British was Columbia really is, amazing. He's sick. I've never been up there. I don't know. And I yeah. suck at snowboarding. I do, too. I suck at I it. I want to be good at it. I know. Me, too. Like, just watching someone go down the mountain being like... Yeah, yeah. I could get down, you know, but it's not, like, beautiful. Yeah. Well, you got to go. It's not what you think. You got to go. You got to get the practice in. Practice it's never too late to start. It's never too late. <laughs> it's very different from surfing. Everyone's like, oh, if you can surf, you can do that. It's I'm so like, no different. way. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Such different your muscles. Your toes, like, yeah. you can't mm-hmm. move and you're stuck there. Yeah. And There's honestly break like, your no similarities ass. at all. No. Well, uh, there well, is other powder. Other than the facing. Other than the facing. And powder, it's pretty similar. You're kind of yeah. like That's sliding true. and just like. Whoosh, yeah. Whoosh, yeah. I broke my tailbone. Damn, that sounds so painful. Twelve. Oof. That sounds Ugh. pretty. Oof. Yeah. Broke. Are you pretty? I'm actually broke. I mean, Holy I, crap. I think so, yeah. <laughs> Sucks. I don't remember if I went to the doctor, but that's what I was saying when it happened. That sounds I awful. I was trying to follow my brother and his friends. We were on a snowboard trip, and they were going off these little jumps. Oh, so you tried to hit it? Oh, yeah. I tried to hit it, and it like had a flat top. Uh, and I go yeah, up, and I just, mm. right oh, on my Oh, fuck. It was the worst. Yeah, I was walking around like an old lady. Yeah, I've broken my tailbone before. It's terrible. Did you really? Yeah. What'd you do? Did you have to wear like a I was diaper? standing, standing on a slide. 
going down like standing the, on a slide yeah oh. we, were do, we were doing it over and over again but it was like a metal slide that had like moisture on it so you just like stand at the end of it and how like, old were you that sounds kind of you mean you were like surfing the slide is that no what you mean? yeah but like skiing like, straight leg straight like skiing down <laughs> it just was that it fun? It was stupid. It was that a fun idea. So <laughs> 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 I'm just standing down the slide. <laughs> and I uh, I fell like, like Smacked this. Smacked in. And the metal part of like the railing just went straight up my oh! butt. And, oh, oh and geez. Did you like it? Oh. <laughs> Did I like it? <laughs> <laughs> no, but just it's just one of those annoying things where like it happens to you and then like your friends are like, just get up, dude. Like Don't whatever. Be a bitch. And I was like, bro, I freaking can't Don't be a walk bitch. right now. It's you can't walk. Yeah, no, it's no. terrible. Oh, you definitely I can't. Your ass is broken. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I had to miss school. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. sure. Yeah, you can't move. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Painful oh, guys. It's gnarly really shit. Yeah. yeah. Look at you guys. I know. We broke in our ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're here to. <laughs> we broke our ass so you don't have to. Yeah. Damn. Um. So you don't have to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I, I don't know either, but I like it. Damn. <laughs> I think that your guys' aesthetic is so great. Fuck yeah. I love it. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I love mean, it. I'm yeah. a girl and I even wear it. Yeah, hey, you came <laughs> in sporting it. Yeah. Which is epic. You, kind of <laughs> there, you know, there's not a lot of people that are willing to like do unique things. It's, you, you definitely know? have to put yeah. yourself out there. I mean, yeah. not as much as you have had to do that, you know, like the story you just shared, but I'm sorry. I think that was a small aspect that I didn't think was a part of it when we were starting it. Yeah. That clothes are a very personal thing to people. I mean, like we were saying, some people don't give a fuck and they'll just grab whatever, but yeah. some people it's, they're very particular with what they like and they're very vocal with what they don't like. Mm -hmm. And so that was something I didn't think we would, was part of the process, you know? And so as we've gotten, I mean, it doesn't really affect us. We kind of just do what we like because we're our first customer, you know, yeah. but um, yeah, it's there's crazy. different layers to it too because a lot of people could just wear stuff that looks cool, you know, mm -hmm. and isn't branded. But a lot of our stuff is heavily branded. So people just a lot of people want to be involved with what Seeger's about, which yeah. is cool about Seeger. It's true. And I think the way you guys do brand things is really mm -hmm. unique and interesting. You know, a lot of times people just throw, a, you know, the name of the company on the shirt, and it's like, okay, yeah. that's cool. But you guys have a way of designing it in a really um, appealing way, at least in my eyes. Well, uh, thank you. And I, I know a, a lot of other people's eyes as well. <laughs> but I uh, commend you for that. Fuck yeah. Awesome. Thank you. It means yeah. the world. It's fun. It's yeah. fun to say. And I'm not stuff. just blowing smoke up your bums. Like, I really, I really do love it. I actually saw something that you guys posted or somebody else posted of, uh, I don't even know what it was, but it said Seeger, and there were like some orange poppies on it. Oh yeah, and yeah, I yeah. screenshotted oh, yeah, yeah. it for an inspiration on something uh, I'm working on. Heck yeah, yeah. Who you does know, all of you? Geneva the told me to wear that shirt today. Really? Yeah, and I said I actually don't have that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's so. Wow. She's like, she'll love that shirt, and I was like, Aww. I don't have that shirt. She's like, you own the company. I was like, I don't have a shirt. Well, sometimes you don't have every shirt. You know? Does she yeah. wear it? She doesn't have the shirt either. No, but like your guys. Oh, our hands. stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I mean, it just depends. Like, if we're all cruising out and there's, we're all going out as couples and the big team, you know, it's, we're always kind of making sure we're not just like coming in too hot. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. You don't want to be like hat, everyone. Do the yeah, exactly. You're to differentiate you do the a little bit. Yeah, dungarees. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny. Speaking of uh, salty crew, uh, yeah. I used to work at a fish shop in La Jolla called El Pescador. Oh yeah. yeah! Shout out! Yeah, yeah! yeah. Um, shout out El Pescador! Yum. Um, Yum! And I remember the Salty Crew guys, like the Red owners, Rubin. I think was it Damien Hopgood? I one of the stars, one of the Hopgood brothers. They all came in and they're all wearing head to toe Salty Crew, and I was like, "Come <laughs> on, guys! Like, be a little more subtle." And then fast forward to us, and we literally walk everywhere <laughs> and yeah. Yeah. Stuff Uncle Jim. So it's like we're in six different Seeger branded items. Yeah. yeah. So I get it. Well, yeah. it's cool to be able to make stuff that you like and you totally. want to wear. Totally. I've, I've been, <laughs> I recently uh, bought a sewing machine. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. And I, my new best friend is Joanne's <laughs> Joanne. fabric store wow. at Hobby Lobby. Yeah. Joanne. And I've been um, like obsessed with sewing clothes. Wow. I'm absolutely yeah. horrible at it. I'm making what have you shit made? up as I go. Um, a bunch of like skirts, and I just made my first pair of pants the other day. Wow! And, like tops, like matching sets. 
Because it's hard to it find or? matching sets. I am, but I bought a pattern yesterday. Uh, that's the trick. I bought a uh. pattern, but you uh. know what? I don't like the patterns. Oh, fuck uh. it. I didn't like Go it. Go road. I, uh, this morning, actually, that's what I was doing. I was like so excited to try this pattern out. I'm like cutting it. I'm like, you know what? This just doesn't feel the same. Yeah. And they like want you to sew it in this particular way. And I'm like, that's not how I want to sew it. Yeah. yeah. So you're sewing all that stuff from scratch? Like you just go get fabric at Joanne's. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it, sew it, try it on, yeah. fix yeah. it up a little bit. But it looks horrible. Like these are rough drafts. Yeah, that of things awesome, that eventually though. I'd you know maybe yeah. be able to perfect it. It's a learning perfect. experience. Yeah, but it, I yeah, it's been really fun. But on like a creative uh, outburst. Yeah, you can. Uh, that's incredible. Can <laughs> design the Seeger woman's line. Oh, Ooh. let's do it. Yeah. I think I've uh, One offered day. that to like nobody. Two, no, like we've had two other girls on this podcast, and I yeah. offered that to them too. Let's all, let's all combine forces. <laughs> Honestly, that would be a dream team. That would be insane. Everyone you offered yeah. that to would be yeah. a dream team. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be yeah, that would be so fun. Yeah. Um, I'm down. Yeah. I second that. Sewing. What, what would you design for Seeger if you could design one item? Um, Maybe like a jumpsuit or overalls. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Jumpsuit, hell yeah. Jumpsuits are the best. Yeah. Like I said, you don't have to think about all the in top one. and bottom. Yeah, all it's in one. legit. Like a, like a full matching jumpsuit. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds epic. But you could do like some cool like trim on it or, you know. Yeah, I was at the <laughs> gym. Accent color. Right. I was at the gym Let's the other it. day and this girl who like usually works out and like she's not, she's wearing workout clothes. Why do you recognize her again? <laughs> she's a regular <laughs> girl. <laughs> I know. I'm she's setting a regular up. woman. I'm setting them up. She's a... Whatever, she's a woman. And uh, <laughs> Do you she, walks, woman? she walks into like the cafe that's attached to the gym, and I'm already there. And she's wearing this jumpsuit. And I was like, that thing's sick. And she's got like cowboy boots on, but I didn't say anything. I was like, that's sick. And she sits down, and this like, couple of girls walk up, and they're like, damn, okay. Like, let's see it. And she, this, they're Whoa. random girls. Wow, and they the came girl, in like, hot. Yeah, yeah, they came in hot, and they're like, she's like, that, that's a great outfit. And then let's the girls, see it. Yeah, the let's girls, see it. The girls, Get up. Whip it out. The girl stood up and was like, uh, this is it, and they're like 360. <laughs> come on! And I was what? like, yeah, that girl Fuck got yeah. her dues. Like she wore that, and she was confident in it. Yeah, and, yeah. Like, other people appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. So wow, powerful kind of dopamine dressing. Exactly. Because you, you bring in smiles to other people. That's too. true. It's not just for you. <laughs> yeah. No. Don't be selfish mm-hmm. with your clothes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's not just for you. Yeah. Uh, Jumpsuits. <laughs> and zoot suits. That was my whole point. It was the jump zoot suit. suits bring a smile to everyone's face. <laughs> zoot scoot and boogie. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you gonna play a song in the banjo for us? Um, yeah. um, Would no. you want to sing for us? <laughs> oh man, he's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fuck. don't play an instrument. Do one of you guys play something? No. Oh, that's that sounds great. I, that would be. We should just rap. <laughs> Hey, when the fuck us, uh, uh, I got we taking a nap on the lap. <laughs> he slept this entire time. That's adorable. That's insane. Oh. Cats are so fucking awesome. I, I want one. You got to yeah. get his sister. I know. I know. Don't tell Helene. She's going to freak I'm going to tell her. Can I have one and just leave it outside like for Geneva? What? I don't oh, know. I want one. What do I do? Is yeah, what do I do? I know, but leave it outside. What do I do? <laughs> I want How could you leave this outside? Should I get used to it? Look at yeah. Jen was like wildly it. allergic to cats. Really? And over time, you just. No way. Yeah. That makes sense. I'm, yeah, pretty sure yeah. I'm pretty sure Elaine's allergic too. Really? Yeah. This is my first experience with uh, seasonal allergies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's insane the right now. The fucking pollen count? Yeah, it's what everywhere. is that? I don't know, but it hurts. It's insane. Yeah. I mean, the amount of pollen in that fucking lily right there is insane. Yeah, that's lethal. It's lethal. Yeah. For, For cats. Honestly, I could have Wait, don't you have cat. a deer? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you do have a deer. You have a deer. Doe. Where is it? A deer. Maui. Oh. Uh, yeah. Where What's it should name? be? Donut. Her name. <laughs> Donut. Donut. Donuts. 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 The cutest thing Don't in the entire world. <laughs> where does she? Where does oh. she stay? Does she just roam? She's at around? Matt's house. No way. Yeah. She's got like, yeah. She's got a lot of space. She sleep inside. That's insane. No, not anymore. She did for a She's long too big. time. Yeah, and she just doesn't control her bowel movements. <laughs> I doubt so, it. Yeah. <laughs> we had diapers on her for a long time. No way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's so weird. Like, like regular inside. diapers? Deer they fit. Can you like, uh, put like a adult hole diapers in the, in the tail? But yeah, they wow. actually make ones for dogs and stuff that you can use. Yeah. Why? Did, um, why? When dogs why get their you... period. Oh, yeah. they don't want to like, bleed all over your house or something? <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. So How old is she now? Uh, she's going to be... <gasps> Holy sheesh. She, I think she's going to be six. How old is no she? No way. She's either going to be five or six okay. in June. 
Yeah, yeah what is a like, normal lifespan? You know? Well, not very many people have had them. As yeah, no, I guess pets. nobody. Yeah. No? Um, really? So, like, they say 25 years. No. Are you going to let her go and let her get knocked up, you know, and <laughs> continue on? Or <laughs> Well, the thing is, they're an invasive species. You don't want species, that. Yeah. So, we mm. can't really. Ship her. You know, do that. Ship her over here. And she'd just go right up to hunters. <laughs> oh, my God. She's so, so friendly. Crazy. And, you know. Oh, that'd be so sad to watch. We go into the house and she just looks, like, at us. Like, she wants to come inside. She Aww. does not belong out. Oh, that's so hot. So you'd have to like retrain her for the wild. Yeah. Yeah. I don't Damn. think Damn. That'd be funny to watch Matt try to retrain yeah. her for the wild. Oh my. Trying to get her How to just for live to outside was stressful. Really? Yeah. We built She's this crying. pen outside and she has a little house. And <laughs> so I had her start sleeping in this like dog bed on my bed so that she got used to sleeping in that. So and so, yeah, that was my uh, <laughs> that was my tactic. I don't know. So I had her sleep in that, and then I'd wake up, and she'd just be on top of me. Oh, that's that awesome. That's so bed. crazy. That's so fun. I'm like, no. So then kept putting her in that, and then I have a funny picture of her and I and our dog just sleeping in her pen outside, just trying wow. to get her acclimated to that's being insane. in her pen. Wow. Not that deers are like necessarily dangerous, but were there any yeah. other moments where dangerous? She like freaked out on you because dangerous. Not, um, pets, she's you know? never freaked out on me. Really? Um, but she doesn't like everybody, and like, you gotta she, like, warn anybody. Who, yeah, you gotta warn anybody who comes in. You know, she's kind of unpredictable. There's yeah. a deer in my house. Um, <laughs> oh, not in the house. In the <laughs> house, she's fine. <laughs> so crazy. Um, but like, if you go into her pen, she might. I mean, she has sense. a huge pen. It's yeah. like. My brother has a few acres, or oh, dope. I think three acres. So she has, she's got a really big, yeah, um, plot of land to There's no be able predators, to live on. right? Is that the no. issue? No, yeah, that's the issue. There's no predators, mm. and so they're multiplying. Um, yeah. But so, what was I saying? Oh, I was asking if she was dangerous. Oh yeah, <laughs> so she's like she's she's a rabbit she's fucked a couple people up. <laughs> Not wow. like actually hurt them, but she like gets up and she's like, burr, burr, burr. and uh, it's scary. That's just wild. Yeah. I've never, I've never heard of a pet deer, so. Yeah. It's crazy. She's wild. You ever um, tried to, like, but ride her? But I think her? she might be trying to hump them. Oh. No. <laughs> no, she's like, mating. She's can't, hot. Yeah. She can't heat. tell. Yeah. yeah I mean, she hugs me. Age. Hugs. Hugs me. Yeah. She'll, like, come up and But she and knows, like, that. she smells like pheromones from men or something? I don't know. No, it's been. Oh, she'll it's actually mostly women? girls, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Do they all have like testosterone? I, energy? I don't know if they just like are going <laughs> in there scared and she can sense that. Mm. Oh, whoa. And she's humping that? I don't know. I whoa. don't know if she's humping or attacking. That's her thing. Them. But she's only done this a couple of times. So I really can't. <laughs> oh, my God. Now I'm like, she's an evil beast. <laughs> no, she's literally the sweetest thing in the world. Oh, man. That's fun. Have you ever tried to ri uh, ride Donut? Like no. put a saddle on? No. She's not right. big enough. <laughs> I just feel like you're not that big. Like you can. Yeah, it's not gonna hurt her. <laughs> so she's an a she's an access deer then. Right? Yeah. You have a pet access deer. Yeah. That is so she's quick. wild. She's quick. <laughs> she's nimble. Oh, probably. Oh yeah, she's so fast. Well, well should we wrap up? We had an hour thirty, pretty good. Yeah, we could formally wrap it. Formally. Did we talk about everything? What do oh you, God! Gosh, it's up I to heard you. A lot of things. It's up to you. Did I say too much? No. No, no I think yeah. it's a very. Is is there anything episode. that you wanted to say to? To close it out or anything to add or do you want to sing a message for the children does anybody here play music i would sing what if we put like Gosh. instrumentals on yeah. oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> a little karaoke yeah That's, well thank you for coming in oh well, yeah. thank yeah. you yeah. Sweet. thank Come you for having me <laughs> That's so sweet yeah <laughs> cut you guys off real quick <laughs> <laughs> he has to pee i have to pee too honestly yeah, but yeah it was a pleasure Tiny having powder. you and Bo Bowie with us today. Oh. Thank you for having us. Yeah. <laughs> if it's been a pleasure. It's something yeah, fun. Funny, but oh my gosh. I'm please kidding. take I'm that out. <laughs> I really don't care at all. She was she got bummed because she made fun of me, but she really didn't. Huh. It was not that mean. You're too nice. It was like We're uh, cutting it. actually it's called a nurse. <laughs> it's a <laughs> nursery <laughs> idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you burp funny. <laughs> oh shit! I'm kidding. I do. Burp I'm a, actually. Uh, I'm, it's one thing I'm really good at. Burp off. <laughs> yes, make yourself burp. <laughs> can you? Uh, I, <laughs> I think shit. I just swallowed <laughs> air. I can't. I can't do it. But seriously, thank you for coming. <laughs> thank yeah. you. Uh, yeah, thank thanks for much. making the way up here. Thank and you guys. Taking taking time to come in. <laughs>